Another way to show equivalent ratios is on a double number line. A number line shows numbers in order starting with the smallest to the largest, like this. I'm going to start this number line at 0, and I'm going to make it go to 10. And I would evenly distribute all the other numbers between 0 and 10. 5 would be in the middle, and I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Everything evenly distributed, the same distance approximately between each mark. If I were to have a table that showed the relationship between the number of students and the number of boxes, and I were to have 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, and for each student I had three boxes, This is what my table would look like. To show this information on a double number line, I could start with my number line like this and add another line below it. It would also start at zero. The top line is my number of students. My bottom line is my number of boxes. Looking at my table, I have one student and three boxes. Here's one student. That would be three boxes. I could see that for five students, according to my table, I would have 15 boxes. So at five, that would be 15 on my number line that shows the number of boxes. I can use this information to find how many students and how many boxes all along. Two, three, four students would have six, nine, twelve boxes. I can look and see that if I have five students, I have 15 boxes. And if I have 10 students, twice the number of 5, I have 30 boxes, twice the number of 15. I can use this information to find out, without making my table any bigger, how many boxes I would need for 9 students, 27 how many boxes I would need for eight students, seven, and six. Double number lines are very useful for showing information between information that's in your table. Here's another example of a table turned into a double number line. I'm making pancakes and my recipe says for every four cups of flour, I need two cups of milk. Four cups of flour, two cups of milk. If I put this on my double number line, four cups of flour and two cups of milk are across from each other. It also shows that I need eight cups of flour for four cups of milk. And I need 12 cups of flour for six cups of milk. What if I only have three cups of milk? Three is halfway between four and two. If I go across on my number line, I'm halfway between four and eight. What number is halfway in between four and eight? Well, there are four numbers between four and eight, and four divided by two halfway is 2, so I'm going to add 2 to 4. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So for every 3 cups of milk, 
I need six cups of flour. I can also see that if I have five cups of flour, I need two and a half cups of milk. A number line helps you see fractional parts as well as whole numbers. A table is really good for whole number values. A double number line helps you with fractional parts.